welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about taxes with one of California's tax collectors. My guest this segment is uh, George Runner, a member of the Board of Equalization. Thanks Thank for you. being with Thank us. You, Steve. And the Board of Equalization uh, basically administers, what, $56 billion mm -hmm. in, in ta taxes, mostly sales and use taxes. And I know you've been on the program before. You, you have a, a record uh, as, a, as a, a former legislature member of the Senate. And I know you uh, continue to feel that Californians' tax burden is too high. Yeah, you know, it really is. I mean, it doesn't take a, a lot of scientific uh, look at that. We, you know, we have some of the highest income tax rates. We have some of the highest gas tax rates. Some of the highest sales tax rates. So mm -hmm. clearly, uh, Californians are are taxed a great deal compared to other states. I know every year, I guess by law, the Board of Equalization takes a look at the excise tax component of, of the gas tax mm -hmm. and is supposed to make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. And you think that, that that tax will be lowered? Yeah, right. In fact, uh, what'll hap what happens is we back w the legislature changed the law a few years back where where uh, we have to review uh, what the gas tax is and then project what we should be collecting and reviewing what we collected. And what basically what we found is that Californians were being overtaxed uh, right now on their gasoline purchases as a result of, of falling gas prices. Uh, so, so yeah, so basically I think we're going to have before us a, a seven and a half cent reduction in, in gas tax. I understand where you're coming from on, on that issue, but by cutting the gas tax by seven and a half percent, isn't there an unintended consequence? Because that money goes into road repair, and we certainly need a lot of road repair and highway repair in California, well, don't we? Well, th we, we do, and that's a bit puzzling because we already are the highest taxed state in the nation. So it's kind of like if, and we were over collecting, I mean, and, and we certainly had very high gas prices. So the real question is, we're, why aren't we getting the job done with the money that we're already collecting? I think that's the real question that, that we need to be asking ourselves, not, oh, goodness, people are overpaying, now they're going to get a reduction, now how are we going to fix our roads? Mm -hmm. In the same vein, there's a, a measure proposal by the uh, Assembly Speaker, Tony Atkins, that would raise uh, about $2 billion for road improvements mm -hmm. and, and for mass transit. And one way she would do that is by imposing user fees on people who don't pay gas taxes. They use the road and they help the roads participate in the roads deterioration, but they don't pay use they don't pay gas taxes because they have uh, electric vehicles for example. Do you see anything wrong well, with that? Well, it's a problem that has to be addressed, but the problem is it goes beyond that. It's it's taxing everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's not only taxing the person who has the electric car, right. it's also taxing everybody else's car too. Mm -hmm. um, so no, it's a it's a broader tax increase. Uh, Fifty-two dollars a year, I think, and I'm not sure they think how they're going to apply it to do that. You know, what we have found is actually over the last ten years, money going to roads to the to the, to the state has increased thirty-five percent over the last ten-year period. So, the fact is, there is money. There's a growing amount of money available for road construction. What we need to really do is value, uh, figure out whether whether taxpayers are getting value for the dollars that they're paying. You, you will concede we do have a huge. Uh, need for for to pour some money into our well, roads, we, we right? sure we have a need, but the point is how how uh, okay, let's decide how we want to deal with that. And right now, the user fee of it aspect of it, and that is the gas tax, is one of the highest in the nation. Okay. So the user fee is a big portion of that. The fact is, there were, no, it wasn't very long ago when we we used to have extra when we we use extra money in the general fund to help do some of these kinds of repairs, and maybe we ought to do that again. Right now, uh, the 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 LAO, the Legislative Analyst Office says that the governor's budget, we're going to actually get more money than by True. one to two billion dollars more. Maybe we ought to look at investing some of that in capital. And I think that, that that is, in fact, I think a proposal that is floating out right. there. But uh, George Runner, member of the Board of Equalization, thank you very much for coming by and talking about these yeah. important issues. We appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on the California Channel, on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.